Hey everyone, I am Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and this video is one of the first videos of EverQuest that I'm going to be narrating. Now, uh, I get frequently asked when I, when I am ever going to be making EverQuest videos as they are some of the people that browse my website most frequently. So, uh, to answer your question, now is when I'm going to be finally making EverQuest videos. Since Diablo 3 is down and I'm not subscribed to any other games besides EverQuest, you guys have my full attention. Now, um, <clears throat> this video here is going to be covering how to, uh, how to set up a trader. This is one of the, uh, one thing that pretty much everybody's going to be doing at one point in time in EverQuest. Uh, if you're a free-to-play player, you're not going to be able to set up your own trader. But, uh, when you actually start subscribing to the game, um, you're going to, obviously being, you're obviously going to have to cross this road. Uh, setting up a trader will net you some great money when it comes to EverQuest and uh, it's not a uh, it's not something you want to skip out on essentially is what I'm trying to say uh, setting up a trader is fairly simplistic there's not much to it um, it does require you to leave your computer on all night which could be quite annoying and uh, some people might not be able to do although I do recommend uh, I do strongly suggest and recommend that you find a way to get this done because setting up a trader is great source of money and uh, there's nothing funner than waking up in the morning and figuring out you made like 100k while you were sleeping um, so ultimately to get into the guide now what I am doing is just putting a bunch of items onto my trader I'm not going to go through pricing absolutely everything uh, right now I'm just going to price a few items show you how I go about pricing them and then uh, I'm going to pretty much stop the video um, I actually run my trader on another computer, so uh, all of the prices are going to be completely wiped on this one. Um, <clears throat> okay, inventory is finally full. Uh, so I'll be able to start from scratch, which will probably help you guys out and show you a little bit more. Now, uh, in order to get started, you need to go to the bazaar, obviously. Um, and you also need these trader satchels. They come from Merchant Tekrama, uh, I think that's his name, right outside. He is, wait, where is the, he's right in here where all, where it shows merchants on the map. He's like right here by uh, the entrance to the Red Dragon Hall, which is where the traders are. The blue one is where the buyers are. Uh, I've never really used the buyer system. I don't really like it, and I'd rather run my trader rather than run a buyer. So uh, what you need to do is uh, talk to Merchant Tekarama, buy trader satchels. Then you want to run up to one of these areas with a little, uh, thingies on the ground I don't know what you would call them stalls I guess well they used to be stalls this is just like a rage raised thing so uh, you can go to any of these that you want I pick here this is like my uh, um, area and what you want to do is type slash trader it's going to bring up this window right here and then it's going to show you all the items that you have in your trader satchels as you can see and then what you want to do is type slash bizarre which is going to bring up the bizarre search window which is technically kind of the auction house window in this game and what you want to do is look at the item that you have such as this and uh... then search it sorry I had a little bit of a brain fart there because I was trying to click on the crystal thingy now as you can see there's no tainted savage cry leather wrist guards up on the auction house uh... for anybody that doesn't know the the prices of items it might be a little uh, more difficult to uh, to f like find stuff and to sell stuff but uh, if you don't have a price to go by is what I'm trying to say because uh, you ha that means you have to know the price of the item now luckily uh, I bought huh that seems rather low but uh, luckily I bought uh, these for like 4k plat so I know what to sell them at now, uh, what you want to do here is uh, whenever you get a new item on your trader, you're going to want to search it and then look at everybody's, uh, look at all the prices. Like I see that the lowest price is 99 plat. I would probably put mine at 100 plat just figuring it's going to sit here for a little bit longer, but I'll be able to get a little bit more plat. I mean, I just like selling stuff at uh, even numbers regardless. Um, so, but usually if you want stuff to sell fast you just undercut whoever the uh, lowest guy is which uh, say I wanted to price these elegant defiant plate wrist guards 
So, uh, wristband, rather, I have. Let's see. Let's see what the difference is on both of these to know why we're, why one's selling for more and one's selling for less. They look pretty much exactly the same. Uh, so, let's say that they're essentially going for the same price. I'm not even going to bother looking at all of this crap. The one going for the lowest right now is 500 so I would put I would price mine at about 450 445 now uh, in order to price the item what you want to do is go to set price well actually you want to go to this first platinum click here and then type in your number um, you can't use the number pad for this quite annoying I've uh, encountered that quite a few times and then you click click set price and now when you do this and you put your trader up as you can see the item is in green which means it's for sale um, let's see here. Let's price another thing. Chronobinds. Let's see how much they sell for. Two plat, five plat. So I'd probably put mine at five plat. Just figuring I have, I have a bunch of them. And, um, I don't feel like selling them for one plat each. I've sold them for seven plat each before by just sitting on them a while. So, uh, I'd probably put them at five plat to tie that guy. And then the nice thing about traders is... This snaps guy who's selling it for a, a lot less than the other guy, um, he's not always going to be online. So if he's if both of these guys go offline, I'm the only person with chronobinds. When somebody needs them, they're going to be coming to me. Uh, that's another that's something else to keep in mind. There's no twisted leaf thingies on the auction house. What about this Drake skin buckler? And if you're if you're noticing all of these items uh, are bind on pickup, it's because I'm playing on Feronia V, which uh, everything is droppable. Now, uh, Drake Skin Buckler, 750, which means I'd probably price mine at 625 or maybe 500 if I just wanted to undercut somebody hardcore. Uh, let me look at this AUG. Now, uh, there is no Hive Grind Stones of Willpower on the auction house, but what we're going to do is look at the other ones on the auction house to figure out what I would want to price mine at. Now, uh, this AUG only has, it has very low HP and stun resist and all of that fun stuff. Now, uh, stun resist, I don't know how important a lot of people would call it, but it looks like these AUGs are kind of similar. Uh, they have dot shield and the other one had, what was it again? Accuracy. And uh, they seem rather similar to mine. They have very low HP, mana, and endurance and an additional stat. Now, uh, this, additional, this additional stat is kind of rare to get on an AUG. So, uh... Let's say I'm gonna price this at about thousand plat, and that would be a uh, that would be my price. I might be getting ripped off, I might not, but I'd be happy with getting a thousand plat from that, and that's what matters most. Now, uh, at least on this server, you have to worry about uh, selling items with augs in them by accident. You might get a you might forget to take an aug out of the item and wind up getting a uh, selling a an item with a really good aug for a bargain price. So, uh, at least on Feronia V, you got to keep an eye out for that. Now, uh, let me look up this shield. Zor Guard. None on the auction house. Or Bazaar, rather. Same thing, essentially. Let me look up this. None on there. My god. Uh, let me see this. Uh, okay, there's some of these on the auction house. And this is probably going to be one of the final items that I price. Uh, as you can see, the lowest one is 1,100, and to me, it doesn't look like I can get a thousand gold or a thousand plat for this item. So I'd probably put this item up for seven, 750, maybe 625 to 750, and see if it sells. Uh, final thing I want to price is a trade skill item, which is right here. Let's look up exquisite silk, which uh, this is definitely something you're going to be able to sell on normal servers. Now. Uh, as you can see here, mine's already priced from God knows how long ago. Uh, and there's a bunch of them on the auction house. Or bazaar. This guy is a complete baffling idiot. There's no way they're going to sell for 1,100 plat each, nor 900 plat, nor 175 plat. But this guy at 50 plat might actually be able to get some sales. Especially considering that everybody else who has it up is a complete idiot. Except for Snaps, who uh, once again has a low price. Uh, so the thing here, I'm probably going to price mine at 45 plat which is below how much this guy has right here and above this guy 
So the reason I'm doing it at 45 plat a piece is because uh, I have 94 of them, which uh, <clears throat> when people see that, they're going to say, well, I need more than 13, so I'll go buy it from this guy and run over to him, buy it from him. And then they'll see this guy and they'll be like, what? He only has five? Ew. And then they're going to come to me because I have 94. So, I mean, ultimately, I could probably price mine for the same amount as him and they'll come to me first because they need more of them. So uh, that might be something to do, but... I also don't care about an extra, what, 250 to 300 plat for selling all of mine for five less plat. So uh, I'm going for selling it fast over selling it for a lot, which is something you're going to have to, you're going to have to find a nice little medium range there. But uh, that pretty much covers absolutely everything there is to starting a trader in EverQuest. Um, if you have any questions, uh, Comment on the video, send me a message, anything like that. I'll answer you as fast as I possibly can. And also like, comment, subscribe, like my website on Facebook, and all of that fun stuff. I'm going to be making a few more EverQuest videos today while Diablo 3 servers are down. So uh, I hope you guys like these videos, and uh, I'm, sorry for finally, I'm sorry for taking a few years to finally start making them. Um, see you guys around.